I feel like I haven't done a draft in a long time. So let's go ahead and do one. It's pretty much all I did in NHL 23. I mean, obviously I had to be a pro, but then once that came to an end, I just, I don't know what happened, but it was drafts for the rest of the year this year i'm kind of going more of the be a pro route i even started that franchise with the nordiques which is a franchise be a pro but anyway today we're drafting and today the jersey number must increase every pick so we did this last year because last year we basically did every draft that could exist so let me go to an all-star team here so that we know for a fact that it's randomizing and boom we are going to be drafting on behalf of the new york rangers i love that i don't really know what a good draft position for this would be because obviously there's going to be be some really good players with low jersey numbers but you know is it gonna be like top five probably not i'm just trying to think well kale mccarr don't even think about touching my lines jabroni all right i think we're good here all right i'm going to predict we get pick number 12 just off the top of the head i did turn fantasy draft on right okay good i was a little worried 15 so we are right near the middle that could be okay show me the low jersey numbers we're not off to a good start no absolutely not 21 that's low but probably not low enough 23 oh no oh no are we in one here already 16's okay. Miro, number four. That is really good. We have Eichel at number nine. Dougie Hamilton with seven. I feel like he sims really well, but he is three digits lower. One overall better, making 500k less. I think we got to go with Miro. Join the team. This is a risky play, but I'm going to go for Dougie Hamilton and they could hopefully be defensive partners if they're the same hand or whatever. I didn't really look. Is I think Miro's left-handed. Anyway, could be making that up. Dougie, welcome to the team. And then we're going to go for Ovi. So it'll be 478 if he's still there. He might be. And he is. What an absolute thing of beauty. Anze Kopitar at 11. We are definitely not drafting a young team here, but we are drafting... Well, you know what? To be fair, Miro and Dougie aren't super old. I think Dougie's 30. Miro was like 26. So... We're not that bad. Jumping from 11 to 16 actually isn't too bad, but I feel like he'll be there another round. So if I could find something in between, that would be super ideal. Sean Couturier, splendid. Where's jersey number 14? So we'll be going from Kopitar's 11 to Couturier, and then we will hopefully be grabbing Captain America, Joe Pavelski. He is still there. Amazing. I am... We're building a Stanley Cup team here, lads. Like, there's no doubt. Yeah, maybe should have started with a goalie that was number one or something. Well, at least our defense are going to be good. What's our salary cap looking like? 35 mil. So we're going to have to start making some disciplinary picks here. But number 20, Chris Kreider will be joining our team. And I am blown away by how many abilities this squadron has. I guess we're just bringing Kreider back because we are the Rangers. Ideally, I want to find someone between, you know, 21 and like 30 because, okay, Barry could be possible. Making 4.5. That's pretty decent. And then next pick, I have to take a goalie. It just must be done. So Barry, there you go. Draft you. And then we need a tender. You know what? We're going to stick with the theme of the old team. Flower, number 29, 84 overall, and he's got three abilities. 3.5 million isn't too bad either. So I think this is a prime pick. And then Hopefully we can get one of these guys as well. It's sort of a big jump up to 39 and 40. So I feel like I'm going to wait this one out. Try to get one more player in between that range. I pretty much just need any player in the 30s. Victor Arvidsson, 4.2. I don't know if I can do that though, because we do have 20 mil left already. We're going to get a good contract on the goal. You know what? We'll figure it out later. Welcome to the team, Victor. Talbot is now the only 85 overall goaltender left. And you know what? I'm fine with that. He's making a mil and... He's number 39, so that opens up the possibility for anything 40 plus. It's great. Ooh, Pajo would be good, but 5 million is steep. This will be our 13th player, 12th player. Okay, no, I can't do it. Eric Howell, that'd be a big jump. Yeah, I have to get a player in between for sure, but you know what? Why can't you pin players? Come on now. There's nobody in the 40s. What is going on here? It's like the most uncommon. There we go. And then we get two in a row. We get Blake and Carrier. Honestly, you know what? Both contracts are pretty decent. So I'm going to take both of them because Carrier's 45, Lazat's 46. So we'll start with Carrier and then come back for Blake. Yeah, there we go. Double trouble. And we're bringing down the average age of the team. Actually, I can't even really grab Eric Hallow. We have 11 million left.
No, we'll make it work. There we go. Selections made. It's too late. So Miro and Dougie can definitely be partners. That's great. And then I feel like we have, yeah, too many right-handed defenders. So we need two lefties. So we need a jersey number of 57 or higher, preferably pretty close though. And they need to be left-handed. That would have been splendid. 57 or higher but right-handed. Also making six million, so absolutely not. Why? Why is everybody right-handed? Can we please have some left-handed defenders in this list? Logan Stanley is legit the best player I could find right now. Making one million, six foot seven, so this man is a menu. And yeah, he wears jersey number 64, which is kind of close. Tanner Pearson, we could jump up to 70. Oh, three million for an 81 overall. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Fast is making 2.4, but that's still more than I thought it was gonna be. Oscar Sundqvist, finally, somebody that's reasonable. Look at this guy go. Welcome to the team. I need to find somebody that wears jersey number 72, just because it's such a good number. I found someone, Travis Boyd. 1.7, I think we can make it work. Another centerman, we are deep in the center category. Brody would have been perfect, but the salary cap just isn't there. Yep, found our guy, Bryson, drafted you before. I've never really looked at how you've performed, but don't have many options today. So welcome to the New York Rangers. Two draft picks left. We have about 1.4 million per player and we've actually done quite well. We just need 79 plus. So this should be pretty easy to find two players. Jan Ruda, defenseman, don't need ya. Yep, absolutely. Matt Nieto making under one mil, which is extremely nice. 80 overall. Our team is going to win the cup. Mark my words, make my words, if you will. I actually just did a roster update and Joey Decord is 80 overall. What kind of criminal activity is that? And last but not least, another centerman, Thomas. Nosek will be the last player for this team. Cap works. We are chilling. I assume the AI is going to take some prospects or, you know, just anybody that's young because we drafted pretty old here. Yeah, understandably. Okay, so our team should just be what it is. I should be able to just go in there, best lines, and we're going to be unreal. Moment of truth. Let's edit the lines and see what our chemistry is looking like. Hopefully it's at least decent. I mean, with all the abilities, it should be pretty good. Dismiss. No. Jabroni, how many times do I got to tell you this, old man? So line number one is a plus five with Pavelski, Kopitar, and Ovi. An average age of about, like, 37 and a half, 38. And then we have Arvidsson, Couturier, and Kreider. Again, average age, 31. <laughs> that first defensive pair better be a plus five. It has to be. Yeah, okay, lovely. And then we got two plus ones. Oh, I could do a plus three and a zero. Nah, let's spread the love. And tending the goal, we've got Flower and Talbot. Unreal. I say that we're gonna get 49 wins. And I think Ovi has the most points with 85. Big first win against the Sabres. Again, another massive win there against the Jackets, but the Coyotes take us down. Oh my word, why are we letting up so many goals? What's going on here? Do we suck? Just give it a few months. The poise will kick in for these players and we will be sailing. There you go, boys. Bit of a winning streak. Another couple wins there. Beat the Ducks. The Bruins, the Leafs, here we go. This is the Rangers team that I drafted. We are currently atop the division, but definitely not by a landslide. They could catch up real quick. I may have actually done us dirty with 49 wins. I mean, we'll see, we'll see, but I'm starting to feel like we might hit the 50 mark. The St. Louis Blues have fired coach Cyrus Chorney. It's a pretty cool name, honestly. Okay, we have 37 wins at the trade deadline. I will be going in just to see who's available. You know, just be nosy, but don't really care. Montour, what a player. Ekblad. All right, there's something about Florida defense being put on the block by blue teams. There's definitely some solid players here, but you know what? We don't need your players, jabroni. Savoie, a first, and Lardis going to Philadelphia in exchange for Dewey and, wow, Johansson. Okay, that's a big trade is right. Darnell Nurse headed to Minnesota, state of hockey, in exchange for two seconds and Clevin. Let's close this season out here. Right now we're at 43 wins, so you know what? 49 could be accurate. Especially if we keep losing like this. 46? No, we have to pass it. There's no way we only win. Yeah, 100%. There's a loss to Montreal. Oh? Oh? 
Oh my word, are you kidding me? If Ovi has 85 points, I'm gonna lose it. We did win the division with 106. The Islanders hot on our tail, but we still managed to one-up them. We did not win the President's Trophy, however. Calgary and Nashville did better than us. This is what their team looks like. They've got more with Matthews and Meyer, the mmm line. Slavin, Sanderson, and Hannafin. Their left side for defense absolutely stacked. Jari and Nett, second line, Sam Bennett, probably just out there... Sending people to the hospital. Calgary has Chandler, Eichel, and Marchessault. So basically, just the Golden Knights. Russ, Lee, Line, Allmark, and Nett, Moritz, and Truba. So they have a really good right side. It was not the top 16 teams. Anaheim made it, but so did LA with 38 wins and 88 points. The last placed Vancouver Canucks have Connor Bedard. Definitely went after him on purpose. Wanted to bring the hometown boy home. Ovi had 87. I was so close. Kopitar at 87 as well. Pavelski with 82. Couturier, 62 is all right. Dougie Hamilton had 60. Barry, 46. I feel like that's really good for a second pairing defenseman. Goaltenders actually did quite well. 914 from Talbot with a 255. 908 from Flurry. That is fine by me. I'm going to go out of my way. Bryson had 15 points and was a plus 12. Not ideal. Jari led the league with 47 wins. He also played 77 games. That is crazy. And had a 9-16 doing it. Mad lad. Ottinger had a 9-20 with 66 games played. So that is very impressive. Holy crap. Kale McCarr, 95 points. And was a dash 7. So just an offensive machine. Defensive liability. EK65 had 83. Quinn Hughes, 81. And your Art Ross winner is Miko Rantanen with 111. 43 tucks. It looks like the Rocket Richard is not going to OV. It's actually going to McDusty, who had 60. I didn't even see who we're playing in the playoffs. We're going up against the Pens. So let's view their lines and see if we compare. And we do, because our team is just nasty. How did this team make the playoffs? Can someone riddle me that? They have Brady Kachuk, Mason McTavish, and LeBanc. So that is just a gritty first line. Maybe that's how they did it. Just grinded it out. Perfetti, Camp, Saad. Are they good defensively? Yeah, they've got Darlene and Jones. So definitely. Fabro and Marty, the one-man party. John Gibson and Nett. I feel like this should be a cakewalk, so it won't be. First four games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see where we're sitting after that. That is not a good start. But we do bounce back with a dub. Oh, no. All right, a best of three. I'm going right up to game seven. Let's see, a win, a loss. We have to jump into it. Let's go, Rangies. Come on, that's a great way to start. Boyd, why is he out there so early? Actually, you know what? It worked, coach. Keep doing you. Pittsburgh had a power play. We killed it off, but then Jones scores anyway. Said, I don't need a man advantage. Are you kidding me? Guys, there's no way we lose to this team. Which means there is absolutely a way. Scoreless second period. It all comes down to this. Or it could all come down to this. I mean, I guess it could go to overtime. Definitely have to consider that possibility. With the result of the second, wouldn't be that surprised. Yes, there we go, Ovi! Clutching it up against his rival, the Pity Pens. And I feel like that's gonna close it out. Shut it down. Empty netter for Barry. We are advancing. Next up, we have the New York Islanders. The Battle of New York. Let's check out their team. That's a killer first line. Hyman, Hughes, and Stone. Little bit worried. Niederreiter with Hayes and Schwartz. That's a great second line. Coleman, Lowry. Yeah, they do have a good team. I will give them that. Taves with Petrie, Fowler, and Wierenski. Solid defensively. And in net, they have Markstrom and Varlamov. Okay, all right. I think we could do this, but it's definitely going to be... Harder than the last series, which means it's not going to be. Everybody knows the rules. Battle of New York, and we lose, and then we win, and then we lose. Best of three again. I'm doing it. Going right up to game seven here. Win? Yeah. Conference finals. All right, Tampa Bay, what kind of cap circumvention did you do this time? They do have the Art Ross winner. Ranton and McCann and Marshy. Pacioretty with Wild Bill and Sagan. Pajot, who we almost took. Defensively, solid, understandable. And goaltending, they have Georgiev. All right. This is going to be a battle. Everybody knows the rules. First four games. That's a good way to start. All right. Not good. Game seven. Come on, guys. Oh, you're kidding. Whoa, the Seattle Kraken just destroyed them. That must have been like a sweep. The Seattle Kraken had Tuck, Giroux, Kyle Connor. So one of these two most likely getting 
the Conn Smythe, and I'm here for it. Farabee, Perron, who I almost drafted several times, Strom, Leo Carlson. Had a boy, Leo. Vasilevsky and net. That explains a lot. Had a 930 save percentage. Just illegal. Defensively, Gustav Forsling. I mean, I, they did have Vazzy, so it checks out. Cam Talbot did his job. 925 save percentage. Cannot blame him. Miro Heiskanen had 14 points. Dougie with 9. Same with Barry. These guys were all plus. They just didn't get a lot of points. Ovi led the team. 11 goals, 18 points. Couturier had 17. Pavelski and Kobitar both had 16. You know what? It was a hard-fought battle. I'm not upset about the loss. We did very well. Rantanen went insane again. 25 points in 23 games. Marchi, point a game. And then Tuck, Giroux. Yeah, one of these guys definitely taking home that trophy. Unless, unless, it could be Fazzy. But they don't give it to goalies. You cannot tell me that this man doesn't deserve it. 930 save percentage. Two shutouts in the playoffs. 16, 6, and 1. Oh, wow. Miro actually had the most points for a defenseman in the playoffs, and he did it in 19 games. I mean, Taves had 8 and 11. No, 11 and 10. What am I talking about? The team awards are as follows. And if we go to individual trophies, we already know. Is it the Art Heart combo? It absolutely is. The Norris goes to Kale McCarr. No surprise there. Guy was getting near 100 points. Capper's out with the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Logan Cooley. I mean, I guess Bedard was on Vancouver, and they did absolutely awful, so... That's understandable. Moment of truth. The Conn Smythe goes to Giroux. They snub Vazzy. Ottinger with the Vesna and Jari gets the Jennings. McNabb grabbing himself the Bill Masterton. Horton gets the Jack Adams. Oh wow, I just had a full-on sneeze attack. Selkie season from Heesher. Rantanen also gets the Ted Lindsay, just adding a couple more to the trophy case. And the Rocket Richard with 60 goals is Connor McDavid. Oh, never mind. It was a six-game series. I thought for some reason it ended so fast it had to be a sweep, but apparently I was wrong. There were two sweeps in the entire playoffs. Round one, Ottawa swept Montreal and Seattle swept Edmonton, and that is it. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know I haven't been doing a lot of drafts, more so be a pro and stuff, but yeah. I know that some of you guys really do like the draft, so figured I'd get one out there. And as always, I appreciate you guys. And if you could leave a like, subscribe, I would appreciate it greatly. But I appreciate you even just coming to watch the video. So on that note, I'll see you soon.